have a two-year associate degree in wildland firefighting, and we also have a one-year tech diploma as a wildland fire crew member. The associate degree is more of the uh, degree for a student that wants that uh, a little bit more of a supervisory role. Sure, the tech diploma is more of get you on the fire line as a, as a firefighter type two, just getting you out there, um, give you the basics in fire line safety, fire line uh, uh, weather behavior, all of those things. The, the big thing about the associate degree too is that we almost a uh, marrying of a couple different programs. We have the wildland fire program, which is about 40% uh, of uh, the, the degree. And then we have about another 30 to 40% that's natural resources based. And then about 10 to 12, uh, 10 to 20% that is uh, emergency management, whether it's uh, they're taking EMR or, or their EMT basic. Um, and then they're also taking a hazmat course as well. I'm graduating with a natural resources technician program. And uh, the great thing about that program is some of your electives that you're able to choose intertwine with the wild and fire classes. So uh, what ended up just being a few electives that I had to take kind of interests me in uh, coming back for a, a third year and uh, I'll have 17 credits left to knock out. My goal ultimately is to become a forestry technician and by having both those degrees works really nice because in that job half the year you're doing forestry work which that's where the natural resource degree comes in and then the other half you're doing, doing fire stuff so you'll be doing fire suppression, prescribed burns, all that kind of fun stuff. We're, we're trying to be as hands-on as possible. Yes, there's some, some uh, classroom work that they have to do. We try to get them out, and I'd say about 70% of our classwork is, is outside. It's what we do. Um, in the springtime, we're just coming off of our spring fire season. Uh, we did just shy of about 500 acres this year, so the students actually get hands-on experience. They get to light the fire, they get to suppress the fire, hold the line. They, they get to see the fire behavior. So all the things that we're teaching them in the classroom, they're now seeing that firsthand. So that's what we try to do with them, give them as much realistic training as, as they can get. So when we do a lot of classroom work, we learn about different firing techniques, we learn about different suppression techniques. A lot of those things don't typically click until you're out here actually trying the firing techniques, actually trying the suppression techniques. Just the other week, I finally figured out what one of the ignition techniques we talk about is, because I got to actually go out in the field and do that. So those hands-on experiences are what really solidify our in-classroom learning. The first day of our, our prescribed burn class, uh, they told us we were going to get the fire bug and that's exactly what it is. You get to go around lighting fires with people that en enjoy what you're doing and uh, cool learning about the things in the classroom and then a month later being able to come out. No experience previously and become part of a crew with these engines that, that Fox Valley has. You, you just feel like you, uh, you know what you're doing. Oh gosh, it's a, a totally different experience. Like. You're in it, you're hands-on, you, the environment, the feeling, like everything. I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's different than reading it in a book. When you're doing it in the field with people, you can feel it, hear it, see it, everything. The best program that I found in the state, and I did a lot of researching before I chose this school, and this was the best choice, by far. It's a high demand field. They. I hate to say the word, but they're screaming for it. They're screaming for employees. They really need firefighters out there. There's a lot of roles that go unfilled. Right now, the plan is to go out west. Um, I'll be going to Nevada for my third season of fighting wildfires. And I'll probably spend some time out there, spend a couple years out there working. Somebody who's, who's fit, physically active, somebody who loves the outdoors, if they want their, their office space, you know, their, their office scenery to change every day, th this is the position for you. If you don't want to sit behind a computer, not gonna lie, there's gonna be some computer work, there's always paperwork to whatever you do, but somebody who wants to travel, you know, see the country, basically anybody who's adventurous and outgoing, those are the kind of people we're looking for. I was kind of stuck. You know, I was working a dead-end job, didn't really know what I wanted to do, and just knew that I wanted something outside and where I could be active and doing something different every day. Like I didn't want to be sitting in front of a computer or anything like that. And I actually started in the natural resources program and um, I had a class with John Kellerman. Firebug, I got the firebug. I, see, I didn't even know that a career like this existed, I guess. And here I am and I found what, I've, what I'm most passionate about and it's, it's incredible. Like, honestly, it's changed my life. <laughs>